Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are from Songkla Bichelai Nantaburi School in Thailand. So let us introduce ourselves. My name is Subisara Opera. My name is Shanita Pa Songtan. My name is Solon Lakong Sunti. Now we are studying in grade 9. And today we will present to you about our science project named Multifunctional Super Reading Library. So let's see what it can do. So first, let's get to know where did we got this idea. This little ideal lamp starts with the fact that the majority of Thai population in school and college, about 29% of them need reading. But that's not all. There are other generations that require eyesight to read or work. Many people who have been through eye problem experience, such as discomfort in their eyes and inability to read, as long as they should and most of these problems are caused by factors from the external environment that may not be suitable for their eyes. Most of that is lightning. This made our group interested in doing a project on the multifunctional super reading lamp to publicize knowledge about how light affects on reading. In addition, this lamp will help you read or do activity that require vision and brain to focus. Based on research by Bangkok University on the effect of brightness level and color temperature of light on employee working efficiency. Also, one of our members have left over stand with steel pipes, therefore it can be applied to make this lamp. And our purpose of the study is one, Now I will tell you about working principle of the two, invention. To test the efficiency of plugging the lamp and turn it on via a smartphone. The lamp will start on function. The multifunctional super reading lamp has three functions in total. First, the time system. The daylight will, will function for 30 minutes. Next, cool white will function for 15 minutes, followed with warm light for 30 minutes. Let, lastly, cool white for another 50 minutes. Selecting one of the three to function separately, adjusting the brightness of the fourth lamp. Now I will tell you a while about sources to invent. First, draw the structure of the applied lamp to adjust the light intensity. Then draw a circuit diagram of the applied lamp to adjust the light intensity. And write program code in Arduino IED. Then connect the electrical circuit together with the equipment as shown in the picture. Since dialer to the device via USB cable, for AX Wi-Fi and Blink program. And finally, take the circuit cable that is connected in a string line along the pipe and connect it to the plug. I will tell you about performance test. First, plug the multifunctional super reading lamp into a power source. Then turn on the multifunctional super reading lamp by ordering via mobile phone. Finally, performance test of the multifunctional super reading lamp.
The first is to take the efficiency of the operating system of the incandescent lamp, the first to the third by timing from mobile. The second is to take the efficiency of the emitting level of the USB lamp using a lux meter. And the third, the multifunctional superheating lamp safety test by using an electric screwdriver to detect the gauge current. Here is a result in discussion. So as you see right here, the first table we've tasted the time system efficiency which the first three light bulbs are involved, the light, white and warm light. We used a smartphone to time the light bulb's functioning time, starting at 19 o'clock. We have tasted for three rounds and all of the results are consistent which is 30 main for daylight, 15 main for cool white, 30 main for warm light and 15 main for cool white. So next, for the second table which tasted a fancy of the fluorescent USB bulbs which the lux meter is required, we've tasted for three rounds. For the summary, when the lamp is turned off, the lux meter detects zero lux for three rounds. For the second brightness level, the lux meter measured 46, 38 and 34 lux. For the third brightness level, the lux meter detects 104, 80 and 61 lux. For the fourth brightness level, the lux meter measured 132, 133 and 92 lux. And for the maximum brightness level, the lux meter detects 150, 155 and 128 lux. And for the average of all it, when the light turned off, lux meter detects zero lux. When the light is in second brightness level, lux meter detects 39.3 lux. When the light is in third brightness level, lux meter detects 81.6 lux. Fourth brightness level, lux meter detected 118 lux. Maximum brightness level, lux meter detected 143.3 lux. And for the next table, we tasted the light edge of electricity. So the results are all negative. So here is the graph showing the comparison of the efficiency of the applied lamp. We tasted the efficiency of the emitted light level of a USB lamp, so we using a light sensitivity meter or lux meter. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention.